Hey guys, the wet one back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. What am I gonna be getting into today? I have no idea. I'm just going with the flow tonight. But I'm with a very special guest right now. What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on? Nah, man, just chilling. And you have like a, we don't have a real big plan though, except for some sort of maybe concert in the park where we're gonna go and hold hands and like skip through the trees and bushes. <laughs> There's a queen tribute band at the park by my house. Do you call me a queen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. But uh, right now, we're stuck in traffic. You can see the red lights in our faces. Amiibo closes in 15 minutes, and we're stuck in traffic. You have to return a Blu-ray that you got that only has a DVD in it for some reason. This is like a spaghetti western uh, that you got that's supposed to have a Blu-ray and a DVD, but only a DVD is inside and we're trying to go there to return it but I don't know if that's gonna happen they close at 8 so we got 15 minutes so let's see if we can do it all right guys the was closing in like four minutes got to get up in there he just dropped me off on the corner so let's see if we can do this well it looks like we made it to the return line just in time Aaron we made it just in time to return it so I guess we'll find out what happens all right all right what? Wish me luck. All right, wish you, uh, good luck. All right, everyone, we made it into Amoeba, but it was the return line that was closing at eight, not the store. The store closes at 11, so we're good. We got our store credit and everything. And I saw this really cool shirt in here I was thinking about getting, but they don't have it in a large or extra large. All they have is, all they have is small sizes. An old school kids t-shirt? How cool is that, man? Rosario Dawson kids, you know, shh, be quiet. It's me, Casper. Do you remember that one? Come on now. Like, this, this movie's dope, dude. This movie's dope. All right, bro. All we have is a credit. They don't have another copy of it in the store. That's all right. Or anything. Like the Hateful Eight? Okay. I like Tarantino. Yeah, me too. You can't go wrong with him. Yeah. Or a Freddy vs. Jason head knocker. Bro, the store doesn't close until 11. But I know we have this little concert thing to go to. Well, so. But when it comes to DVDs, um, it's more important. Yeah. Yeah. We got <laughs> more important things to do. Yeah. But I'm gonna go check out the outer print section, the little wall that they have of like outer print stuff. But guys, check this out. Some of the outer print stuff that they have here. Sometimes I just don't know what's outer print until you. I come here and check some of the stuff. Like of course the Blob, and now that Phantasm collection is outer print. Now the American one. I wonder what the one is I have that comes in the sphere that was from like the UK. If it's out of print and if it is, how much it goes for. I haven't seen that one around. Yeah, I, I have two of them for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course the Friday the 13th and that's that's a cool looking, that's a cool set, the Night, Night Breed, but I never really liked the movie that much to go that crazy about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like Daddy Elfman though, he did the soundtrack. You know, you know, I mean there's cool stuff to it, but it's one of my, not my favorite, you know, uh, Clive Barker ones. All right guys, now in the horror section over here and take a look at what I found over here. They have like the old school, not old school, but like the new printed VHS box of Puppet Mask. Uh, that Full Moon's put out right here. I just recently got that uh, Puppet Master uh, complete box set that comes in that uh, what's it called? Um, the trunk, the trunk set with all the Puppet Master movies in them. That was actually kind of cool. But to see the the VHS in the store, it looks kind of looks kind of cool. But it feels kind of weird though. You know what I mean, like it looks like a cool big box from like the old school days, but it doesn't have that same kind of like feel to it. It feels kind of like cheapish for some reason. Not that one. Now this is a new section they have upstairs, the movie section. Like soundtracks uh, to old school movies here on CD, but it looks like the all up, the ones up here are all a dollar, ninety nine cents. So I'm gonna look through here and see if I find anything kind of cool because I like having uh, you know different soundtracks on my uh, on my computer while I'm listening and working on different things. It's, you know, who knows? I can find something dope in here. Well, that's kind of weird. I didn't know they made a soundtrack to Night of Living Dead 3D, the one with Sid Haig in it. What? Like I don't know if I'm, I need that, but like. They made a soundtrack to this movie. The only thing, the only, the only thing good to me about this movie was Sid Haig, to be honest. But I just had to show you that for a second. And for you guys who didn't know, Wes Craven directed this movie. You guys know that? I remember the music from the heart. Do you? Now, Aaron, dude, we're over here in the la Latino section. The you know the for the Latin movies and stuff like uh, Unfri Unfriended and all these different you know Latino movies. And they have this one right here called Hood Rats. Part two. But, I yeah, part two. I'm a bit, I can't see it without seeing part one though. Yeah, I know. I want to know what happens in Hood Rats part one. <laughs> Has anybody ever seen Hood Rats? Let us know down below. Uh, we've been here millions of times before, but let's look how big, you know, Amoeba is. This is just the downstairs, you know, CDs, records, vinyls, and all sorts of stuff down here. And we're on the top floor where all the DVDs, Blu-rays, and all the other crazy stuff is. This place amazes there's me. There's even a back room back Yeah, the back room. There's like another, yeah, back room down there which is for like jazz and like smooth stuff. Look what I came across when I came downstairs over here at Amoeba, where Aaron found it. I have never seen this before in my life. Like a lunch pail 
with all our favorite wrestlers on it. Well, most of most of our favorite wrestlers on it. How cool is that, bro? That is pretty cool. There's Andre. Yeah, Andre, an Ultimate Warrior, Mon Macho Man, Stone Cold. Dude, that's badass. Does it come with a thermos? No. Probably not. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh well. I got a handful of things or an armful of things here. He's got a handful of things. Let's see. We'll show you at the end. All right, we're out of Amoeba and now on over to the Ghetto 7-Eleven, the nastiest, cr creepiest. 7-Eleven out here in Hollywood. Yeah, on Yucca Street. Yeah, we're about to head on in. And remember, there used to be an Angeline poster uh, up there, but not anymore. Not anymore. Oh well. Let's head on into 7-Eleven. But of course, when you're in 7-Eleven, I have to peruse the DVD Blu-ray section that they have here, because it's the best selection in town. Screw Amoeba. It's all about the 7-Eleven movie section, because they have movies like uh, Evil Bong 5, uh, beautiful creatures, what tortured and stuff, and they have, I, what is this, dude? The monstrous ho holiday, they, you know, they have some okay stuff like this, Thundercats, but this is like a weird Thundercats. Look at this, it's like Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, and Pocahontas. Pocahontas, like the ghetto, like the weird <laughs> cheap versions and everything, but then you get like stuff like Fast and the Furious, but I yeah. I'm kind of curious about this, to be honest. I know, it kind of looks like your, the, you know, the hog movie, yeah. a little bit, yeah. Hey Aaron, dude. Aaron, I think I found the low calorie thing I'm thinking about getting. You want to try these with me? Oh yeah, I've heard about those. Yeah, you want to try some type all, all the uh, millennials are eating those. So. Yeah, you want to try it? I know, I know the trend's kind of over, but like it we're looks, old. It looks tasty. I know it looks kind of you know like fruitastic, but who knows? We might try. We might try some. All right, we're out of the ghetto 7-Eleven. I got some water. Now we're off to the little concert in the park. So let's go. Fresh and dairy, fresh and everyone we're out of the concert that was at the park and we're at our next destination of the day hey there Bob Bob's big boy we're hungry we're old and we need our protein all right we're in Bob's big boy right now we just got our food what did you end up getting dude this is uh, chili spaghetti the chili spaghetti you, you got this before huh oh yeah this is my uh, favorite one yeah your favorite thing thank you madam but we got our Tabasco sauce and I got my uh, you know, chicken Caesar salad right over here. This is my uh, my, my go-to thing uh, when I'm at uh, Bob's Big Boy. That and then, of course, the French fries. But I'm trying not to mess with the cer certain things. Now I'm trying to keep that 2,000 calorie diet, or maybe just a tad bit more than 2,000 on certain days. All right, guys, we just got done eating our dinner. Now it's time to go on home to show you guys what we picked up at Amoeba. All right, guys, we're back now at Aaron's house. Had a fun-filled day. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of, you know, half a day. We just sort of messed around a little bit today. But uh, we're about to show you guys what we picked up. Okay. So, being a Tarantino fan, I get this. I'm a little late on the bus of getting it, but... Yeah, hateful eight. Hateful eight. Yeah. I got this two-pack. Has Natural Born Killers and True Romance in it. Then I got In Living Color, season one. Mm -hmm. I, you were, me and you were talking about that. And... Um, this one may be the only official release that came out that was in stores. I think the only other seasons you can get are like Burn on Demand ones. Like five mistaken. seasons, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. And when did you get? When the? When the hell did you get this? I got it today, bitch. <laughs> today? Yeah. You know that shit's out of print and goes for like eighty bucks. I know. It was in that. It was in that cabinet. Yeah. So there's Willow. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, that, that. I mean, that that goes for some decent prices though. 
But now, I'm gonna show you a couple things uh, that I got right here. Uh, I got a, a handful of soundtracks. Some of them are just kind of like, whatever, why'd you get those? But I just like, you know, easy listening kind of music sometimes when I'm going to bed or laying, just chilling out in my room. Uh, and plus, uh, this one right here, uh, I got Blast from the Past. This is uh, Alicia Silverstone and Brendan Fraser movie. Uh, I love this movie when, uh, when it first came out. And the cool thing is about this one, back when I used to live in Canoga Park, California, uh, they were filming this movie, and I saw Christopher Walken outside of my fucking bedroom window. And I was like, hey, you Christopher Walken. It was kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, I also got Mad About You, uh, the soundtrack CD. Why? I don't know. I like the theme song. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, more Mortal Kombat right here. Also, Mortal Kombat. Annihilation soundtrack right over here. And uh, two of the other things I got was uh, the soundtrack to the movie called John's. Uh, it's an old school, um, you know, David Arquette movie, and I forgot some of the song music in it, but I think it's just like the score, so it's like something I can just relax to when I'm at home. And uh, I got one DVD there. I only got it because it's uh, Jack Lemmon, and I don't think I've ever seen it before, and that is uh, The Long Way Home. Uh, it's like four bucks or whatever, and all the CDs I got were a dollar, so I'm just like, what the hell? So, uh, that's all we got today, man. Yeah. It was this kind of stuff, but like... I've always liked Jack Lemmon, him and like Walter Matthau when they were doing stuff together. Do you, you like the Odd Couple and stuff or not? Nah? Uh, you know me, I only watch horror movies, dude. <laughs> Whatever. But guys, thank you so much for coming by for this video today. And we'll see uh, you guys all. Uh, Where did that poop come from? <laughs> on the, in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Make sure you guys check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. I'll social... be pointing down here. Whatever. All the social media <laughs> links will be down below in the description box of this video. And if you guys want to get Aaron's movie, uh, Dead Kansas, if you can watch it exclusively on Amazon, you can rent it down below in the description. And, there, and there's a new one coming out, An Hour to Kill. It's, it's, it's almost done. It's, it's almost, almost done. done. Yeah, for you guys that are wondering, the sound mixing is happening Tomorrow. as we speak. But we'll see you guys all next time.